Hello everyone, it's Jennifer, and thank you for joining me today. I have a fun assortment of bead strands. These are the new Color Classic bead strands from Jesse James Beads. And I have four amazing colors. I have Canary, Burgundy, Midnight Green, and Star uh, Sunburst Orange. Now, I love the Sunburst Orange. It's so beautiful. It has such a wide assortment of different beads. And what we're going to do is we're going to take out a few beads and... Um, we're gonna take out a few beads and make a neck a bracelet using them. We're also, I think, going to take some out for some earrings on this one here. I love these crystal beads here. Look at those, aren't those gorgeous? Just beautiful, beautiful. And I love the color of these faceted beads. So, and oh, look at those. Just amazing, incredible. I love the red, the red just just shouts gorgeousness at me and I love these rondelles and again look at those little crystal beads these are a little bit smaller so I love the variety of sizes because if you're looking to make something for Christmas that is just perfect to stack on top which maybe we'll do that and then also to look at this canary just gorgeous and each strand is probably about maybe seven and a half inches, about seven and a half inches. So I am going to probably take just a couple of beads out of this strand here. And let me put these off to the side. I'm just gonna take a couple of beads um, out, of, out of the strand here and might take out a couple more, but I just, I just like this as is. And I did another video, and I haven't posted it yet because I'm um I have a special surprise coming soon, but I haven't posted it yet. So I will um hang tight on getting that uh posted. But my point for this one here is all you have to do is take one of these gorgeous, amazing strands. I'm gonna take out a couple of beads for earrings. I have some ear wires, which are, I love these ear wires, and I got these from Jesse James Beads. And you can get these, I, I believe I got these in one of the, um, maybe Beads and Blooms, uh, maybe one of the workshops, which I will bring up workshops. Right now, Jesse James Beads is thick into the Winter Workshop 2022. What does that mean? Oh, I didn't get my um, workshop um, kit. That's okay. You can still get them. As of this morning, well, today's Saturday morning. As of this morning, there were still some kits available. All right, so there's already been two days of classes no problem. They are recorded and forever available to those that register for the workshop um, on Facebook as replays. Also, too, there's still four more, I think four more days of, um, of classes coming up. So what Jesse James Beads did was instead of making it a five-day-in-a-row workshop, they split it up. So two days per week for the next couple of weeks. So we've already gone through one week where I do know that Sarah Ayler did an incredible class. I um, have seen some of those that have posted and they just look amazing. And also to Neele Patel, he did his uh, class. So I do have some catching up to do. And that's my point. I wasn't able to watch those videos live. So guess what? I get to watch them on replay and get caught up. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to use some 19 strand beetle on wire that I got from Jesse James Beads. I lost the little cover or it broke or I don't know what I did with it. And so I just put it in a little bag and have the little string coming out. This I learned from Jem. I learned this from Jem. And uh, kind of down the same line as when you get these little 26 gauge spools, I do poke mine through the back. That's what that little hole is for. And then I tape it. 
and then as the spool um, gets, as I start using it, I will cave this in so that I have a tighter fit. But um, so it's kind of the, it's the same concept. So we're going to use some of that, some of this here. We're going to use, I think I still have them. We have some two by two crimp tubes also from Beetle On, and you can get this at Jesse James Beats. So I also have a clasp. I love these clasps. These clasps are easy to put on and off and they just um, add a little bit of texture you can add dangles to them. You can do um, so much with these clasps. Where did I get this clasp? You guessed it, Jesse James Beads. I got that. I got this clasp, which is included in the metal assortment clasp or metal metal clasp assortment. Well, you get this bag with tons of clasps, and I believe there were 12 when I first started out. So uh, I still have some magnetic clasps, I have some lobster clasps, and I still have some uh, toggle clasps to use. So we're gonna go ahead and use one of those there. Now, also, oh, I was gonna grab some uh, wire guards, and, and so I'm gonna go ahead and grab some wire guards now and come right back. All right, so I have some wire guards. I have two of those because I am going to attach directly to the clasp. And one of the things that I um, that I really like about these guards is that it protects the wire. This wire is really strong. It's 19 strand, but still, I don't want to add any um, any reason for this to break down and uh, break on whomever is going to get this gorgeous bracelet. And Let's see, what else do we have? That's about it. So I also, when I make my bracelets, I work off the spool. So I don't cut my beading wire off until after I've crimped one end. And uh, I just feel like that just saves on um, scraps. All right, so let's go ahead and get these bad boys off. And you know what? I have to run to my bag. I was a mobile jeweler yesterday, so I uh, don't have my tools with me. So I'm gonna kind of come right back. So for tools, we're gonna be using a standard um, crimp tool and we're, we have some cutters. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna put on, um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna put on uh, crimp covers or not. I sometimes don't add them. Um, so it just depends on what kind of what kind of mood I'm in. Now, I do know that I want to save a few beads for some earrings, and I'm not sure which ones I want to save. So, and I do want to, um, I do want to, let's see here. I want to save about an inch off, because this is, I think, about six or seven and a half inches. So I'm thinking if I could maybe grab a couple of these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start stringing because I don't wanna lose what it looks like. I am gonna go ahead and start stringing. And as we're doing this, I'm gonna be thinking about what I'm going to be taking out. I think it's going to be those little, um, I'm gonna keep, I think, one of those, but I'm going to take one out. And those, these Heishi spacers are so gorgeous. I love these. Look at those, aren't those beautiful? Mm. All right, so I am going to take that one out I think I'm going to take these out too. So I'm going to go ahead and start stringing and I'm going to take this one and I'm going to leave that one in just for some color, but I'm going to go ahead and just work directly off of this strand. Look at those little beads. Those little spacers are so gorgeous. Okay, so I'm going to continue on and I will come back to you when I'm all done. So I have to bring you back in now because I love these um, orange beads here. I have made it no secret that this finish is just 
absolutely gorgeous. I love it, love it, love it. I love that Jesse James Beads includes this finish in a number of their bead mixes and, um, and uh, strands. So thank you so much. And also too, if you missed the live design on the fly, using the Beetlejuice, uh, using the Beetlejuice Magical Mystery Bee Box. Go check it out. You will see a familiar face. Yes, you'll see me there. And I was able to share with Sarah how gorgeous they are. So I am now going to uh, string on, let's go ahead and break out these two by two crimp tubes. And let's see here. Yes, I should have probably had this already done for you. And we're going to, I'm not going to put that all the way on because sometimes I do mess up when I'm doing my videos only because I am not up at my face like I normally am when I'm doing my crimps. And so sometimes I will miss and mess up just like how I'm not even seeing how to get this on there. Okay, so now we're gonna thread on the beading wire, if I can get that in there. There we go. Now, before um, passing this back through, let's go ahead and add our um, toggle clasp. Now, I am adding this one here to this side, okay? And here's why. When I go to pass, when I go to put my clasp on, when I look at the other side of the beads, these are pretty thick. And to get this passed through here, I have to see how far I have to go. And if I have to go a little further like that, this bead fits through that toggle, okay? All right. Okay, so there's a little bit of a tip, and I probably learned that from somebody, so it's not my, like, amazing tip. All right, so <laughs> so now what I'm going to do is you see how that is a little, how the, the, let's bring it up to you. You see how the wire guard is just a little kind of separated? I want to bring that a little closer together, so I'm going to come in with my crimp tube, I mean my crimpers. I can come in at a good angle and I am just going to tighten that up a little bit and I use the crimper because that's round right there and I don't want to um, flatten that so now with my with my wires separated I'm gonna go into that la that um, second that second um, groove right here we're gonna make a taco and then we're gonna flatten it out so and again, it does, things kind of get in the way a little bit, but it's so worth it in the end if you can get a nice, good, clean um, crimp and just make sure that's covered and give that a little squeeze. Then you come in with this guy. I'm gonna come in this way and maybe not. Let's go ahead and come in this way and I'm gonna go in that front notch and just give it a little bit of a squeeze and look how clean that is. That's so clean. And then you just give it a little bit of a tug test and that's good. Now, if you want, go ahead and bring this through. I do just so that I would rather see that like that with the two rather than one and it kind of being pokey. You see how that makes it a little bit more uniform. So then what I do is I come in here it's not security because this is very, 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 very good and sturdy wire. For me, it's cosmetic. Give it a little bit of a trim. And while that is still intact there, I'm gonna do that. All right, so now I have this other side. And I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little bit of a trim. Push that off to the side. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add my crimp tube. I'm gonna add my wire guard or wire guardian. 
Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pass it through, pass it back through the wire guard. And before I pass it back through the crimp, pack back through the crimp tube, I'm gonna add this last little piece here. Okay, so here we go there. Add that pass through. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add the, pass it back through the crimp tube. Okay, so I passed it back through that crimp tube and then I'm gonna go ahead and pass it through that first bead. And what that does is, as you can see, that just kind of gives me a, a good grip on it. And I'm gonna come in and just give that end of my of my guard my wire guard just a little bit of a of a squeeze just to bring that together. I just like that because then it just looks nice and clean. So now I need this. I don't want this to be super tight because I don't want it to be I want it to be a little loosey goosey, right? So I'm going to bring that in and what I like to do is I like to have it about the tension that I want it and so I do I um, just lay it down and go okay so that's good now if I was to lay it straight and then tug and pull then when I go to bend it bend the bracelet it's going to be too stiff so I'm going to go ahead and do that we're going to make sure our wires are not crossed and we're going to come in we're going to go into that last well there let's get that in there Okay, and as you can see, it's a little loosey-goosey and that's okay. We want it to be a little loosey-goosey just because um, I had it laying down this way. And so when it when you lay it down that way, you look, there's not a lot of wiggle room, but then when you pick it up, now you see that wiggle room. Well, it's just because um, it's now stretched out. All right, so let's go ahead and give that a crimp and then let's come in and finish it off just like so all right and then we have a nice beautiful crimp give it the tug test come in and give that a trim and there we go and then i'm going to show you what i mean about pulling that through you see how i have to kind of pull it through that bead fits through this bead it likely would fit through. You can tell by the diameter of here and here, but um, it's just easier on the person. Then if you want to go ahead and put some crimp covers on there, you can. Um, if it if you like um, the crimp cover look, there are, um, there are different crimp covers out there. And um, for me, I just prefer to have it um, no crimp cover. Now, if someone asks for it, of course. All right, so now you're gonna see, I don't even know where my other little piece went. Where my other little, oh. So you see by not pre-cutting my wire, and I think I bring this up every time, by not pre-cutting my wire, I end up with about an inch and a half of uh, scraps, not that much. And so now I know that I could just toss it and it's okay. But here's our bracelet, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So now I have, um, I guess I have a little bit of a, of a thing for this orange, right? So um, this is a toggle clasp from the metal um, clasp assortment from Jesse James Beads. We used some crimp tubes from Beadalon, also available at Jesse James Beads. Some 19 strand Beadalon beading wire. And sunburst orange. This is a color class, uh, classics uh Beat strand. So be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up if you like it. Comment. I love to see what everybody has to say and subscribe. And until next time, have a good one.